the fuck is going on in this chapter? Yo, it's too much. Okay, look, for, for first of all, Frankie, Frankie, chapter... Chapter 636, the general from the land of the future. This was a good chapter in the sense of just shock value. You just shock value after shock value. Just, 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 oh my god. Alright, look. First thing I want to say here. Frankie is... <laughs> I'm not going to lie. From, from pages 2 to 7, it's just pure stupidity of, 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 of Frankie's docking robot. The Iron Pirate, uh, Frankie Shogun, I believe it's what it's called. Oh my goodness, yo. <laughs> oh my god, brother. Yo, that shit was mad. Yo, I thought it was funny. I, I'm not gonna lie, I, I thought it was mad funny. Because it's like a video game. Like, he was doing like mad. It's like he did one like those like turning like low kicks in like a fighting game you would do. And they're like, yo, that's Matt Chief. <laughs> Everyone's like, yo, that's Matt fucking Chief. Matt Dirty. Yo, I thought that was funny as fuck, son. And then, like, how... He, it's like it's like Transformers over here. Just fucking docking and shit. Uh, Power Rangers going on. You have the Rhino combined with the tank. And then you get, like, some kind of weird robot. Uh, I mean, I mean, we're, we're not seeing Frankie himself fight with the exception of the fact that Frankie still has that dumb sense of humor. Where he's like, you're gonna, you're gonna look at my shoulder cannon. And if you remember in the fucking CP9 thing, he had shoulder cannons too, but he had to fucking run after the guy. He had to run after Fuk uh, Fukuro and actually like aim at him and shoot that way. And now it's the same fucking thing here. He's cockpit and he starts fucking firing and shit. And it was, I was like, dude, you're the one who's firing, <laughs> but it's still cool. And then fucking Robin and Nami are just like fucking staring like, are you guys fucking retarded? Like, yeah, they're fucking retarded. But here, but, but then here we finally get into a little bit of the moves we, we see from Nami, Chopper, and, and Usopp. Nami does a Gale Sword. So it's kind of like a, so, so, so she has a, yeah, a Sorcerer's Clean Attack now, right? So it's, that's what it's called. And so she sticks out one of the parts and like it's like a beam of wind. So that, she gets a class to upgrade. Usopp, I don't know what, what's with Usopp in the plants now? He's, yo, he's on some, uh, he's on some homegrown shit, son. He, he has a green thumb. Yo, he shot one of his, uh, stars and, like, a bunch of bamboo sticks that came out of nowhere. Oh, uh, dude. Yo, like, I don't know, like, Usopp, he might have actually, because, like, we haven't seen him go out yet, but Usopp might have actually gone out of the weak trio. Who knows? Who knows? No. But I know who definitely got out of the weak trio, son. Yo, Chopper. What? What the fuck? Yo. Yeah. Chopper. What? Oh. Yo. Because cause, cause here's the thing about Chopper. Chopper, for me, was the character who had so much potential. But he was always a bitch. He was always a fucking bitch. Bitch, but he oh yo yo honestly dude that form that new horn point he says that he only needs the rumble ball for only one form and the other six forms he can get into in and out easy so I'm hoping that that one rumble ball form is is fucking the the monster all right it's, it's the monster dude honestly dude it has to be dude yeah dude yo we haven't seen his arm point yet dude his horn point looks beastly as shit. It looks weird because he's more humanized, too. Like, his face looks a lot more humanized. His arms look a little bit weird, but it's cool, though. And his legs, again, look the same, a little more humanized, you know? And it's really cool to see because Chopper is one of the characters I thought in the crew who was a beastly as shit, but was too much of a bitch to actually do anything. But here we have Chopper. He followed that guy in the fucking ground. He's digging around. He's like, what? I don't, don't want to follow you. Rams up in the fucking air, horn point. They look, they look at these big coral fucking things. Like even the guy himself is like fucking like, fucking get get like get those corals on my face. But there's a big ass coral. Yo, that's fucking yo. Chopper, that is impressive. I mean, Chopper impressed the shit out of me in this chapter. I mean, he did like one thing, but I don't give a shit. 
All right, and then here we, and then, and then, and then we finally we found out another certain thing. There are more Krakens. What? I, I thought the Krakens were like one of a kind. No, no, the Krakens apparently in the fucking north. I'm sorry. I'm assuming in the north blue. All right. In fact, you know what? I think, and don't quote me on this, but I think Laboon's race, Laboon's whale species, also come from the north blue. I'm not too sure about that. I think it was, I think it was, it was either the north blue or the west blue. I'm not too sure. But north blue, apparently, fucking, there's a there, there's like a race of krakens, man, and they're all under threat by Hoity Jones. That son of a bitch. That son of a bitch. So this motherfucker had some influence over fucking Kraken, right? He had some influence, like some like legit influence. So, so, so this Kraken, he's not the biggest Kraken, which is scary because he's a big motherfucker, all right. But Luffy's like, you know what, man? You know what? I got it. Yo, you know what? If you if if, if you want me to, you know, if you want your friends to stay, you know, alive, if you want to help your friends, help me. And I got it. I'll take care of it, man. I got you, son. And then so. You got fucking the two, uh, one of uh, Hoity's two uh, henchmen try and take on fucking Luffy off the gate. Nope. <clears throat> Zoro, Sanji, got on fucking lock. And then fucking, yo, I don't, I don't know if, you, if, if Luffy used gear in that instant, but Luffy vanishes and just kicks fucking Hoity. And Hoity was a ways away, so oh, fucking Luffy just fucking just kicks him right there. And yo, it was cool, son. It was cool. But, oh... Oh my god, like this part tripped me the fuck out. I am pretty sure this part tripped out everyone who just read this chapter. This part tripped me the fuck out. At the end of the chapter, this ship, I didn't think it was this big. Yo! Oh my god! It is fucking huge! Like this shit, like half of the ship, half of the ship is already up into like the fucking, oh my god, like half of it is like out and it's already going past the fucking clouds. And like the fucking king, uh, uh, Neptune, king of the fucking seas, he's tripping the fuck out. He's like, no, wait a second, this ship should not be moved, not until the promised day arrives. I'm like, yo... The um, fishmen, they have some fucking, they have secrets, man. They have fucking secrets. This ship is too fucking big. This, look, dude, people, go back right now. Take some time, all right? Go back to wherever you read the fucking chapter, all right? Margarita, whatever. Go back. Look at this fucking ship. It is too big. Yo, what? Yo, the ship has secrets, man. Here's my opinion, all right? This ship, I mean, again, on the whim here, this ship might have something, might have something to do with the weapons of mass destruction that are in the world of One Piece. Mmm. Yeah, yeah. Food for thought. Food for thought, people. Food for thought. I mean, this, we are not even, we're not even in the new world yet, but you know what? Oda pulls crazy shit. This is not, this is, nothing, nothing is without the area zone that is Oda, all right? I'm telling you, this shit could legitimately happen. One Piece is an ever-expanding universe. I'm telling you, it, this might be one of the weapons of mass destruction or might be related to it. I don't know. It might be like a safe house, like in case, you know, like like the weapons of, ma of mass destruction like actually appear and shit. Like this ship might be like a fucking, like, like a home base or like a defensive base or something, or, some, or something like that where the fishermen can actually live in peace underwater. I mean, I mean, it's, it's not like they're gonna fucking like get hit anyway because they're 10,000 meters underneath the water. You know, it's like, who the fuck is gonna go out of the way to go fishman? You know, like seriously. But the, the dude, the, the ship though, yo, mmm. Take a good long stare at the ship, people, because this thing is fucking huge. What the fuck? This chapter is. Mm, hoo, hoo, hoo. Yo, what the fuck? Yo. It's too good. It's. It, it, I'm sorry. It's too good. This was a good chapter. This was a good chapter. This was a great fucking chapter.